All right, so just gonna sell this just because I think I'll get a two socket item and make that again later on. I mean, there's a two socket item right there, that would be better. There's a three, I don't think I can make anything with three. Oh, there's a three socket shield. Oh man, I could make the Ancient's Pledge with that. Yeah. This is gonna happen. Oh yeah. Okay. So, Ancient's Pledge needs Rao, Ort, and Tau. So I've got a Rao. I don't have an Ort, but I've got the cube now, so I might have to go and do some grinding. I know you only just finished watching my last grinding videos, but... Look, that's Diablo 2, you need to grind if you want to make good items. But, then again, I'm going to need at least level 21 to even use Agent's Pledge, so I might hold off on the grinding for it until I at least hit level 21, because otherwise it's going to sit in my bank like the last item did. Although I will make a new stealth uh, in this new plate. Um just so it's one with more defense hopefully I have the room for it Tau and F Tau and F okay let's do this Tau where'd my F go F well that's fail oh no did it have that mana regen before I even put the stuff in. Okay guys, hopefully you didn't see what I just did, but I pretty much made this piece of gear useless. I mean it's got poison resist, but no. I think I it was already a magic item before I put the um, stuff in it. This on the other hand would have worked. Yeah it's not blue 48 strength I'm gonna need I'm gonna need 47 for the um, I need 47 for the the shield anyway so I might as well put it into this uh, I'm gonna need 48 strength by the time I'm level 17 so I mean, I'll be able to use this in, maybe if I get a ring with one thing next level. I need to get something with plus one strength. Could probably just get a helmet and put something in that will plus strength or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Either that or I'll wait two levels to use it. But I'm going to have to wait for an ort rune to make that shield. Either way. Let's see if my mercenary can use it yet. Yeah, he can. Let's see if it's anything better. I'll put that to good use. Okay, so with more res that to good use. less resistance, I'll put that to less good use. damage. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that so to pretty good much use. that's useless as well. So I'll just sell that. Save some space. And... Alright, so let's see if we hit the next level put our stats into strength and then once I'm level 21 I need to remember that I can make my agent's pledge which will be good to go up against Juriel, Juriel with so that won't be too bad alright so now I need to look at the second part of this quest so the staff in the maggot layer under the fire oasis so, um, I, don't know. I didn't grab the I didn't grab the waypoint for dry hills or whatever it was, so I'm gonna have to just run back. At least I know the way. Dry heels, 
that's pissing me off. I could have just gone up and left, but instead I went around all the way around and then back to here. So close to the exit of Loop Cool Lane that I didn't even know I was in the dry hills. I just went to the shops in my car before and I drove past this old guy who must have had a lift, like an injured leg or something. He was just walking down the road. I swear he walked exactly like the preserved dead in Diablo 2. You know the ones where you kill and then you get poisoned by their bodies? I swear. This guy was the real life freaking preserved dead. That's probably where they got the animation to make these zombies walking around. I just watched old old people walk into the shops and just freaking made the zombies walk like that. Okay, nearly hit the next level. I don't want to put on this stealth armor. I think it gives faster run speed. Yeah, that'll be cool. Faster walk and run speed, that's nice. So, I mean, I need... I need six points of points so that's size. Might have to wait two minutes. grab that town portal back there but you know what it's too late now got 16. so yeah you probably noticed but my videos are gonna get longer so instead of just 10 minute videos uh, i'm putting a couple together at a time so i think the last one i did was like an hour and something so hopefully that's not too big to upload to YouTube and it'll be fine. I mean I am compressing it but I guess we'll see what file size it comes out as. I think I put up a 26 minute video in part 5. So at least that's less videos you have to watch. I mean it's annoying recorded in 10 minute sections so I'm, I'm guessing it must be annoying to watch 10 minute sections. I'm not even gonna heal my mana because I'm gonna level up in a second. There we go. Free mana. Alright, pop that into strength. And like I said, I'm gonna I might get a, have to get a little bit of sacrifice as my skill just to up up some damage but not add more hits to my zeal, so. That's going to add more damage to Zeal, but not more hits. So I don't want to hit like double times and get stuck there and like just die. Oh, here we go. Maggot layer. Looks like a freaking sand freaking asshole. Now let's go down to the sand arsehole, see what's down here. Well, nothing apparently. Absolutely nothing. I don't know how you can hit a swarm of freaking lotus with a mace, but a couple of hits at like in the air drops the whole stuff. Drop the health potion. I'm fine with this food focus as long as... As long as those gun dudes with the light in there don't have any time to I've got to remember to only use number four in emergencies because I don't want to waste these full health I don't want to waste them but I have to use them I'm 
I mean, if I'm quick enough and I've always got scepter. Oh, how many sockets? I don't even think that scepter can freaking hold four sockets. It can only hold a max of three, so I don't know. I think I need a grand scepter. What scepter is that? That is a grand scepter. So I don't know what kind of scepter I'm going to need to make this holy thunder. It's going to be very interesting. See once we get top rushes to them, see if we can get them to drop. I'm ready. Let's get that whole thunder to the real hood on this thing. Right here, though. with the name in freaking gut eater. It's not a good name. What's doing that lightning damage? Is that my charm? What does this do? It? Yeah, I think my charm is doing that lightning strike every time I hit it. That's a good charm. Even a low level charm. Lightning every time that hits. So if you like playing sorceress and you shoot a lightning, like a chain lightning and it hits all of them at once, all of them go off and shoot you with their freaking lightning. So it's almost like the more damage you do, the more you hit them, the more damage they're gonna output. So there's almost no point in killing them fast. Probably actually a good thing that I only hit one or two only things around me instead of all you units with one magic ability. Probably the most popular paladin build uh, online is the Hammerdin. Uh, and that's because out of all the abilities and spells of um, all the characters, the Hammerdin using Blessed Hammer, I think it is. Um, it's the only ability that doesn't have an immune in hell level. So in hell, you'll come across like you mix like you do in your normal nightmare, but it'll just be completely immune to your physical, um, ice, um, fire, lightning, uh, which pretty much stops up any build of the sorceress one time or a couple of times in hell. You have to rely on your mercenary to kill those things. But with the Hammerdin, the Blessed Hammer uses magic damage, so it's not necessarily a specific type of magic damage, so there's no, um, there's no immunes for that in Hell level, so Hammerdin's the only character that can do Hell and kill all the monsters, so my, my Zealot, I mean, unless I give him a weapon that will do different types of magic damage, which I will, but it won't be 100% damage that those of these will take. But the physical immune in hell, I'm gonna have a hard time killing it. I'm not saying I'm gonna get to hell, but say for instance, I did. I'm gonna have to sit there with my mercenary and take it out with some. I'm gonna have to give him like a magic uh, damage boost. I don't know, I don't even know. But if I was playing a hammer dude, then I wouldn't have to worry about this. I'm going to get a new one and teleport around and do whatever I want, kill everything. So there are downsides.
decides to desert and match the fence and sacrifice all of I think she was nearly as fast as what Hamadin would be. Uh, and also, Hamadin has nothing that can be immune to it. So, overall, the Hamadin is probably a better build, but for the sake of um, playing hardcore mode, I think the Zealot is a safer option. If the Hamadin runs out of mana, it's pretty much not going to be able to do anything. Whereas, if the Zealot runs out of mana, it can just hack its way through. Yeah, it would be doing less damage, but it's just no damage with the uh, Whoa, look at that slow. Alright, here we go. Staff of Kings. Let's see if Kane likes this staff. The Staff of Kings! You astound me, my friend! Oh, I astound myself. Good day. You're not, you're not alone. Oh, you can identify my craft. Good to see you! Wow. Okay, six to strength! <laughs> it's exactly what I needed. I'll take it. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, what have we got? Poison resist, magic find. I mean, magic find's not doing me any good at the moment, but... Oh, more poison resist. That's what I want. That is what I want. Okay, let's look at this stealth. So apparently I'm running 25... Yeah, I can see that. 25% faster, very nice. Maximum stamina, more poison resist. Look at my poison resist, 63, not bad. Hopefully that will help me against Duriel. Bit of dex, faster hit recovery, that's great. Look, not bad, okay. Not bad at all. Oh no, did I get the waypoint? Please tell me, ugh. Wow. Got to remember to grab the waypoints for this place. So now when I go to the Claw Viper Temple, which I'm pretty sure that's a small section off of the Far Oasis, and then like the whole screen will go dark when I get close or something like that. Far Oasis, I'm guessing. Uh, this this walk speed's good. I'm gonna need to get some boots with even more run speed. I love in Diablo how your mercenary randomly teleports in front of you. <laughs> like I'll be walking, he'll be far behind like he is now, and then all of a sudden I'll see him up here somewhere. Where is he? Where's he gone? Where's he gonna appear? Look, he's gone. He's gone. And then all of a sudden, where will he appear? Right in front of me somewhere. Oh, he's, in, he's a shifty one. He is a shifty one. Uh, oh, I think I saw him trailing behind. He didn't teleport this time. Probably because I've been walking instead of running. There he is. Alright, down here. There we go. Maybe the... You suck it, huh? Fast attack speed. Um, probably won't use that. I won't use that until I get a gun in the game. And then they'll drop it more. I'll drop a higher item level scythe with three sockets later on, so I'll probably wait until I get one of those.
this might be it. Claw Viper. Actually, Claw Viper must be off Lost City, not off Fire Oasis. Sorry about that. Got a bit ahead of myself there. But here we go. Alright, so we're kind of close. Strange darkness. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Remember one time I was playing a um, magic fire sorceress, and there's uh, one, one chest in Act 3, I think it's in the upper Kuras or something like that. Maybe lower, I'm not sure. Uh, off the top of my head, and I probably did about 500 runs because this chest had a high drop rate of dropping, um, of dropping runes, high level runes, so in hell. And I think after like 500 runs, just constantly teleporting to the same chest over here, I finally got a rune. So that's pretty sweet. I, mean, I, I wouldn't argue if I got one of those right now, but. I don't know, I was a bit disappointed I wanted to, to do that. So gearing up in Diablo, like the high tier stuff, you really want to make sure you're putting it in the right items. Like what I did before, how I put, um, how I made that stealth into a, uh, <laughs> into an already blue, um, already blue piece of armor. If you did that with like a bird room or something, you would want to just commit suicide. After freaking like 20 hours straight teleporting to the same thing and I did something like that. Oh man, I kind of wish I could do that and film it just so I could really get trolled. Value. The game is really not like in depth. It doesn't require heaps of grinding. But if you want to, you know, finish the game in hell mode, and you want to, you know, do the uber um, monsters at the end by getting those keys and opening up the secret level, you need to grind the crap out of it. You need to really gear up to even stand a chance. And then they added in the feed have this feature of hardcore mode. If you wanted to do that in hardcore mode, it's nearly impossible. So this game, like, you, th you play the game through on normal mode, you're satisfied. You played the whole storyline. And then if you want to keep playing that character, you can continue Nightmare. You want to keep playing, continue into Hell. If you want to really, you know, tweak out your character, you pretty much got endless gameplay. So, it's pretty sweet. Look how big that is. <laughs> Pretty good damage actually. Good max damage anyway. I might use it a bit. I mean, it can't be repaired because it's ethereal, but that's where it gets its extra damage from. He's doing some frost damage. Doing frost damage? Yeah. I mean, I'm not healing myself, but I'm doing better than I'm still using it. I'll use it a bit. Just because it's cool. Oh, I love this st stamina thing. That is probably my favorite. blue sword here. I 
remember the first time I saw Diablo 2 being played, uh, a friend of mine was playing the demo. And on the demo, you can't leave Act 1. So in Act 1, I think you got a Barbarian, and you could only play Barbarian actually, you could only play Barbarian, so... I remember in Act 1, he played it so much, he got to like level 20 something, he had dual wielded, freaking mad swords, just in Act 1, and just playing Barbarian, it was crazy. I can't imagine how much he must have played that demo to get to level 21, just on Act 1 experience. Yeah. But I can understand why. It's probably the best thing in the world, so. And that was the first time it came out. I'm gonna hold on to these stats like before. And I want some more damage, so I'm just gonna go sacrifice. If I was using the actual sacrifice ability, it'd have better one on one damage. Uh, but then I'd be losing my screen, I don't want that, so I'm going to use it to buff up my zeal, or keep my zeal 4 hits. Probably the best option for hard to These guys aren't actually knocking me back, so I don't, I don't know why, normally they kind of teleport to you and knock me back. I don't know what's happening there. I'm just killing them too quick. Possibility. Not my, I, I was not looking forward to coming in here because of their knockback, but they don't seem to be doing it to me, so I really don't mind killing these guys at the moment. They can really dog you with their knockback. when you're walking in poison because you know what it does, you know what's gonna happen if you're walking in and you might be able to click and walk in anyway. This guy is profound. You? The light can never be Hello. distinguished by darkness or something. I don't know what he said, oh, by fine. evil. Hello. Oh man, okay. It sucks that the the head of this is the best amulet you'll find. <laughs> 25 poison resist, 10 mana, 10 life. Best amulet you'll find. Yeah. Up to this level, later on you'll get better ones, but that's pretty sweet for this level. Too bad I have to make it into a star. That's the durability. Oh, that's a bit crap. So I might just use this until it breaks. I'll just drink those small health potions. Now I'm keeping these chipped, chipped ones as chipped, just because if I do want to make some runes, upgrade some runes later on, you do need uh, chipped, chipped gems to do it. So, for instance, you might need three orts and a chipped ruby to make the next level of rune. So, just in case I do need that, it's the most annoying thing to not have a chipped gem. Like if you used it for some crap piece of item or you upgraded it. Sometimes the chip gems are actually more useful than the the flawed or you know the upgraded ones. Right. Um, where are we going now? Looks like we 
going. So arcane. I've been approaching. Let's okay. trade. Yeah, arcane sanctuary. In the bottom of this temple. I think it's a temple. I forget what it is. Oh, Jaren. When the trouble I have heard of your many deeds. Oh, Jaren, really uses you. Is a user, Jaren. Doesn't let you in unless you're gonna clear out his palace. I'm sure I gotta go down a couple of levels and then like on level 4 there's a portal that takes you to the arcane sanctuary. At least fire is a little bit more believable. You can freaking set arrows to not light, but anyway. This can also about anything. Skeleton have fire hands and then shoot fire. I don't know. Hey, second level just here. How about that, huh? That makes my day. It's nothing worse than knowing you've got like three levels down to go and then each level it's in the last spot that you look. Ugh, it's the worst. Come on, find the next level straight away. Oh, baby! You seen this? I'm just gonna keep going to the top right. Seems to be the ticket. Whoa, okay. That's the thing, these guys, they don't do not armor like the freaking arrows do. There's something up with those arrow guys. I'm not a fan of arrows in this game, they really own you. Uh, so I get third time lucky with the levels. Oh crap, I don't have any. Oh, I had to pop a full health potion. Man. And now I'm punching on my weapon broke. Wow, that, that sucked. Uh, well, I knew it was going to happen, but I just thought maybe I wouldn't have to pop a full health potion when it did. Good to see you. Blessings to you. What's annoying is that armor chick is the one that heals you, but you have to get your potions from this guy. Like, can't they make it the same person that you? get the potions from, the one that heals you. Just annoying when you're when you're poisoned, you have to go to two people instead of one. Ugh, I use that full health potion. Well what can you do, huh? Better than dying. on this level, that's why. Look at these big bosses. On the boss. It's a big gun man. Ooh, got a special trident here. That's probably the first unique item drop. 
So yeah, gold is what we want guys. I mean, a lot of the times we won't be able to use it, but gold's probably the best. Okay, it's got good oh, 15 strength, slows target, minus target defense, increase attack speed, 13 to 21 damage. Let's check out what my guy's got. 6 to 23 damage, okay. Normal attack speed, oh, look. I'll put that to use. It's, it's less, it's l a little bit less max damage, more min damage. Uh, but it's got to increase attack speed. You can't beat that on these guys. They go mental with it. Plus more strength. So. Plus it looks cool. It's a freaking trident. Like, what is it? Poseidon's trident. It's awesome. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Could have been a bow or something like that. Would have been useless. So. This surely is the product of a twisted mind. I love this place. Arcane Sanctuary. Pretty cool. Hello. Hello. I remember thinking what good graphics that um, Arcane Sanctuary was when I first played. I mean, now that I look at it, it's just freaking pixels flying past underneath, so it's not that good. I mean, it's annoying because. <laughs> There's only going to be one spot where the like, guy to kill is it's one way, but I can't have to be annoying because the guy's here is a pretty really good experience anyway. He's just going to I think poison damage is probably the most hated. I mean, I can get the poison as well, but poison damage is really stuff you are. It stops up your potion healing as well. Look at those pixel stars flying past. Spinning me out. Dude, if you're a stone playing this, you'd be so pissed out. Look at these columns exploding in space. My lightning charm's doing wonders now. I don't think my mercenaries used his new freaking trident once. I didn't even really do something, buddy. Oh, Lord, I this guy's back. No! No! Horned helmet. I think it's barbarians only. Yeah. Don't need that. So instead of walking back, I'll just teleport back. Nothing to sell. Find your potions. Oh yeah, so if you press that if you press that little squiggly line, it'll open up your belt and show you what potion you have left. So that's pretty cool. Squiggly line normally above tab on your keyboard. It's pretty cool. What do you guys reckon? I'm going up here. I'm going anti-clockwise around this. It's always the last one anyway. <laughs> I get the worst luck. Whoa, okay. That's some damage. That is some big damage. Wow. Who's doing that? This guy? Who's that freaking out right now? Oh, these guys are really Take it back from the dead bodies. 
faggots. Kill this lightning tower. Freaking statues immune to poison and juice. You can't really see this. I don't know. Should skeletons be able to be poisoned? Everything that's already dead, anything undead, which is like everything in this game, shouldn't be able to be poisoned. I think the only reason it should be able to be poisoned. Too quick! Oh, yeah, not going anywhere now, are you? Freaking hell. See that bastard? Slowly levitating away? It's like. Freaking only like six times then. Seekers of the tomb of Tal Rasha will find. So now I should be able to have a chance to get my four socket um, scepter because these tombs are above item level 26, the monsters in them. So hopefully I'll see it drop. Big chance that it won't. Very big chance. But I got faith. I got faith that because I'm recording this, it's gonna drop the first monster. First turn, first monster. What do you guys reckon, huh? Let's give it a go. This one? Oh, is there another one down here? I'm gonna do them all. Alright, let's go. I mean, you can just check the quest and know what symbol that jury is in, but I'm gonna try and give it a go. I get in this uh, scepter first. Come on, this guy, he's gonna drop it. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, first of many. Star Tonk. <laughs> That's a terrifying name, Star Tongue. Yeah, my name is Star Tongue. Yeah. Alright. I'm just gonna hold on to these stats. Pump up my damage, see what I'm doing now. 21 to 50. You. The amount of yew trees I've cut in my lifetime, I'll tell you, a lot. That's a funny game, RuneScape. They've made 
landscape three now, and I'm pretty sure the population on the newest RuneScape is like less than half of the population of the classic RuneScape. So you know you're not doing the right thing when you upgrade games, spend all your money on upgrading games and making graphics better, making the gameplay apparently better, and then no one plays it and everyone plays the old version. You know like you just not doing shit right. Kind of like Diablo 2, like, I remember I waited so long for Diablo 3 to come out, like, I even bought a new graphics card the year that I thought it was going to come out, my friends bought me, they yeah, upgraded my computer that graphics card for me, it wasn't me that bought it, my friends did, and then it didn't come out for another two years, like, they said it was going to come out that Christmas time it was, so that's good news, and then, I mean, still a new graphics card, the one I'm using now still, but, um, oh, my guy died, and I nearly died, so, yeah, and then once it finally came out, it was crap, like, it was alright, and I like the fact that they added in some stuff from the old games, like the Butcher was in it from Diablo 1, and, yes, citizen. you know, Kane said the same old thing, although, was Kane in it, or was he, oh, no, I won't spoil it, if you haven't played it. He was in it, but, yeah. Um, I don't know. They just, it's not as good as Diablo 2, like, they had a good thing going and they just completely changed it, so. If you do that, like RuneScape did, like Diablo Blizzard did, people just aren't going to play your game. They're going to play the old games and that's it. That's what most people are doing online. When I go online and play Diablo 2, all I see is people whinging about how crap Diablo 3 is in comparison. So obviously some people get into Diablo 3, but... This guy, these ghosts in this guy. Oh, it's this guy, freaking white crumble. What the hell is that man? What is that name? No. Not even a blue item in that chest. <laughs> uh, you can't get anything worse than that. Oh, cool. Wells, yeah, Wells heal your mercenary as well as you, so that's pretty sweet. I didn't actually know that. I might not do all these. What level am I? 19. What do you guys reckon? Oh, this is the one, actually. Yeah. Do you reckon I can take on Duriel now? Ugh. I'm scared, guys. I got butterflies. Another thing in this tomb, I know 
know that it's just going to be the last place I look that I actually find these um, figures where I'm going to start. I mean, I could sell that, but I'm just going to roll it. my weapon again, that's another thing that's going to be costly, the better my weapon gets, with a zealot, your big expense is repairing your weapon, and you're giving this much, that's why it's good to get a weapon that is indestructible, as your weapon is a zealot, I'm pretty sure Breath of the Dying, which is like, the more that I would want to my end game item, a weapon that is indestructible so I mean it's it's got like maybe four or five high level no four high level runes to make it maybe three so I doubt that I'm gonna be making that in single player but I would love to that would be a dream I imagine if I made it and then straight away died I would probably have to take probably 200 hours to even make it to get the items to make it, and then I just die to something, that would really, that would really piss me off. <laughs> oh man. I'm just thinking of the best ways I can die. The most time invested, and then just die to something really crap, like a goblin. Like just crash or something, and then the goblin takes it out. That would be good. I never thought about that actually. I could just die and get my computer freezes in the wrong time. I don't think Diablo would save if my computer crashes. I think you need to save an instant. And if it crashes, you just go back to the last save thing. So hopefully that's the case, but I could waste time if it does crash. play a lot of games like um, Dota, which use the QWER as the main abilities, I actually play Hon, um, and so using the potions as 1 to 4 in Diablo 2, sometimes I accidentally go and try and use W and E and R and Q, um, just because I'm so used to pressing those for Hon, so, whoa, I can't get through that door, okay, oh no, I bet it's at the top there, or is it not a, okay, it can't be any other one. Alright, let's find this fat bitch, huh? The problem is, if I do even be Juru, just the, the intensity art in, in Act 3 is, is crazy when it is. Ratmen that stand on top of the shoulders of Ratmen and just breathe fire, they do crap for damage. I don't need some fire resistance for that as well, so oh man. It's not gonna be easy. Let me sort out my potions here. I don't know where I have them at. You guys see me pick that up? Probably not, because it was like a split second. Oh, I'm sick of these people, these really dead bastards poisoning me. Yeah. Just the noise of it, just freaking juke a juke. Probably better than what I've got on at the moment. What can I put in it? 
shoot with the lightning resist, fire resist. I want poison resist on that. I'm not sure to put that in. Then I'll lose my other resistances. I'm pretty sure Jiro's got high poison resist. Let's do it. Let's just do it. More defense, more poison resist, better chance to block. Bit less mana, bit less fire. Um, Stay a while and listen. Less fire, cold, and lightning Goodbye. resist, but. It's got like six more poison resist. So I'm almost 70 poison resist. Hopefully that will. Plus it freaking looks a lot cooler. Look at that burn shield. That's what I'm talking about. Intimidation factor there. Freaking made a shield out of a skeleton. Endless mummy game. Yeah. It's like a freaking clown car. That would be because my eyes. Okay, probably should have repaired that when I came here before. <laughs> hey man. I was wondering why that guy wasn't dying. Freaking hell. Some more potions. There's nothing the right potion can't cure. There's nothing the right potion can't cure. What about cancer? Do you have a cancer potion? No, didn't think so. He thinks he knows it all, huh? like a distance where you can stand in this room where a money mummy sarcophagus will just keep on the mummies and your mercenary would kill them but not kill the sarcophagus and you could just level up <laughs> I'm sure someone would really like that. I'd watch that video. way to level while AFK. <laughs> starting to lag a bit. Exactly what I need going up in this video pretty well. That won't piss me off at all. I don't think I'll ever find this guy's freaking lair. Alright, this video is about to end, guys, and I might sign out there. Naked Mole Rat signing out. Alright, I kept going. <laughs> I didn't want to not make it to his room, at least. Got a little bit of time left before I have to go to work. Oh, I'm the wrong guy. Bad boy up, huh? So scared. Nothing for fear. He just freezes. Do 
using poison damage. I think I dropped a charm on the ground. Just gonna grab my mercenary and head back. I mean, he's not doing as much damage as I thought he would. Let's fix up this window. Wasn't doing big damage like I thought he would, so I might be able to Ask do it. And learn. Mm. Okay. Ah, oh, look, I'm gonna grab another full health pot just in case. Never be too careful with this fat bastard. So I'm trying to give him a scary mercenary on the floor. Where we going anyway? Might run this guy around a bit. <laughs> He's only half health. Okay, I don't think I need these minor pots at the moment. I think I just need full one Allow health. Me to advise you. Because I'm not even getting the chance to use all my mana. Oh, he kills my mercenary quickly and he does good damage, so. So uh, the plan is go in, make a town portal, and then down, up one to my aura. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh man! You guys thought I was dead. You bastards! Approach and let's trade. Okay. Whoa! I hope he's staying on that health. I hope he doesn't regen. Oh, Just gonna grab my mercenary quickly. He does a lot of damage. Need some help? It's not poison damage. I, I put everything into poison damage. It's actually just... It just freezes you. Okay, that's my alarm to go to work, but I think I gotta kill this bastard first. Take it. Not as good as what I got from. Me. And there's mine. Did I drop my gloves on the ground? I did. That's what I got. All right, off to Act Three, people. Say hi to my friend Tyrion here. Greetings. Greetings. Greetings, mortal. This is. This is where I have to freaking talk to everyone. Jared tells me. Where do I talk to? Talk to this guy. 
in the street now, in the cave or something. Let's go to that bastard. He'll take us on our, on his boat. Let's see if. Greetings. I'm Mashif, captain of this ship here. Jaren tells me I should take. Jaren tells me. Good All right, day. guys, we made it. Act three. What? Look, to be honest, I didn't think I'd kill him. So. I. Good day. I'm not. Okay. I'm gonna go to work you now, know? so yes. I'm gonna just sell this crap and. Oh, that'd be good if I was a uh, bone, bone spear. Necromancer, pretty good. Alright, guys, thanks for watching Naked Mole Rat, and I'll see you when I get to do some Act 3. Okay, peace out.